Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Hope we're all doing good. I'm excited about today because we have a brand new year. And it's the first day of the year. Lots of planting, lots of fun. Big camera today because I actually switched on the Christmas lights. <laughs> the tiny little mini Christmas lights. I mean, it's kind of out of focus, but they're, they're tiny little Santas. It's, it's very adorable. I love it. It brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> There was um there was a couple of options I had actually for for those ones. There was um either those Santas which are like they're kind of like plastic see-through type ones, or there was these little like I think they were like little felt ones, but I I like those better. So we went with them. Shannon Len, hello, welcome in. May hello, how you doing? How you doing? I am um. I feel like tonight I'm like trying to get my breath back and I don't know why. But I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm ready to start a new year. I have some hydration with me. Did I talk about the fact that I swapped my bottle? I think I did. I probably would have by now. Um, Just wasn't enjoying the like thing with, pl I don't know, the plastic bottle was weird over time. It, I liked the look of it. Just it like smelt weird after a while no matter how much we washed it out. You're mad? Why? What happened? Wait, did you die again? Hopefully it's not that. Hopefully. <sighs> no? What happened? I need to know. You're in a lot of pain from migraines, trying to do what you can to distract yourself from it. That's so rough. I hope you managed to like... I don't know if you can get some answers or anything for that, but those are freaking rough. I'm sorry that you're struggling with that and I do hope you managed to find a way for it to go away. You're playing on the Trashy Merchant 2.0 and the fishing competition was mean out of eight catches. <gasps> You only got three fish? I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Trash can only run sounds so fun. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. And I'm not allowed to buy from any of the shops either. The, the full rules are in the description. So if you want to know the full extent of punishment. <laughs> again, this is another one of uh, May's ideas. She's got some good challenges. You caught... <laughs> That's so rough. Three fish. And the rest would be trash. I've, I've had that. I had that. Was it? It was mega expanded, wasn't it? Where I had that kind of thing happen. Tristan, hello. Welcome in. I've just finished the coffee. So I'm hoping it's going to help my brain. But this is me we're talking about. So who knows what's going to happen. You're completely innocent of any pain inflicted by this challenge. Yeah, totally. So like whenever, whenever we, whenever we um start a challenge that May has uh, created, we need to like sign a waiver. <laughs> May is not responsible for any pain or rage. Because <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think the challenges are brilliant. Clearly, I've been playing this one for almost a year now. So let's see what happens. And again, I'm gonna have to think of what we do after this because I don't think we're like we're not going to finish it in the next stream but obviously it's going to be coming to a close quite soon because we have ginger ale and we've got most of the stuff at this point it's just mostly money and like a couple of little things like walnuts and maybe one artifact so we haven't got a huge amount of stuff to go oh and leo friendship as well Haley, hello how you doing I hope you're doing good I've also just scarfed down the zero bar as well because I didn't I didn't realize what time it was. I've been I've been recording 200 days of messed up Stardew and when I went to end the recording I looked and it was like seven hours 20 minutes. So <laughs> I've definitely just been doing that for seven hours 20 minutes straight. <laughs> Leo friendship is gonna be quick. This is very true. I should be alright with that. I'm doing good. I'm still pretty like 
worn out. So that's why at the moment I'm trying to like balance what and how much I do and when and stuff. So obviously there was no stream on Monday. Um, things have just been a lot recently, so I also don't want to completely collapse before we've even started stream this. Cynthia, hello, how you doing? And also just like as an advanced, warning's the wrong word, but like kind of warning. Um, it may be, I'm not 100% sure on the plan yet, but some of the episodes for One Life for December might end up being pre-recorded so that when stream is rolls around, I've got some time, like a bit more time like off or like not on camera because obviously it will be almost daily streams with the exception of like the day that the video comes out each weekend so I want, I want to make sure I've got like at least a day off of not being live a week and also the streams won't be quite as long as the three hours that these usually are The only challenge run you've done you had to scrap because the save file was blessed. You got three trash hats in the first year and the t-shirt first Christmas. Can't make that into a Jojo save? Yeah, fair. Fair. I get that. So are you doing... Are you doing some sort of Jojo related challenge? Leah, hello! Hope you're doing good. I think we'll, we'll make a start because I... will literally be distracted the entire time and oh my god I feel so slow. What's my plan for the new year? Plant loads of ancient fruit. The field will be full of ancient fruit, Krobus. <laughs> I feel like my chair's not quite... <clears throat> not quite where it should be. I feel short. There we go. There we go. You have me your damn prep for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for being a member for four months. Four months of being a cranberry in the berry basket. Very much appreciate. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it's just to like... I'm trying to like navigate this I suppose because obviously this time last year is you know my f I, I was only just at this point starting to be full time I've definitely just put the wrong fruit in these jars um I was at that point you know just starting to become full time um I was doing where I was doing the one city witch video a week it was also half the length so you know, that's less time recording, less time editing, and all that. And um, I think before, like, I only would have had one stream a week, so... I'm trying to work stuff out, I guess. I'm trying to do a Jojo run where you can't buy from anyone else. Get fully leveled up before buying the Jojo repairs. Oh my gosh. That sounds like a fun one. If you're in the Discord, feel free to drop that one in the challenges channel because I'm sure there are going to be some people who want to try that out. Right, Asian fruit jelly, 30 grand, please. Oh, look at the farm, all nice colours and stuff. Okay, so we want this. We want uh, all of our ancient seeds. I have some deluxe speed grow. Ooh, I can make a bit more actually. So let's go. Well, I say a bit, I can literally make 10. But 10's still 10. That's still like more than not 10. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Now I don't have to worry about any other crop other than the sunflower, which obviously we can't do this season. It's gonna be in the greenhouse or ginger island if we do. Goat's cheese. We've really got a hope for goat's milk to come up at some point so I can make that because um, I'm a bit worried about that one. $0.99. Cents. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for the super sticker. Very much appreciated. I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving. Wait, it's tomorrow, right? Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to anyone who celebrates it. Obviously, it's not much of a huge thing here. Oh yeah, look at that stone pretending to be a flower. See what you mean now. I was, re I was reading that and I was like... I didn't get it. <laughs> I get it now. I hadn't got that far yet. My brain wasn't ready for that one. Look at all this fibre. 
Now I would say we'd have loads of tea saplings, but I don't know if I really, ideally, I need to be saving all of my um, my wood for for kegs. I think. Well, I'll see. I mean, we do have a lot of kegs already, so I could just do a burst. But then, I don't know. Do I need to? Because I've already. I'm gonna be getting. I think I was getting before like 500k a week, right? And that's only gonna grow. Maybe I should just focus on kegs and not tea saplings. What am I going to do with all this fibre? I've got so much fibre. I've got nearly two stacks of fibre. I've never had so much fibre in my life. Not a bad thing to have. Oh my gosh, another super sticker. Thank you so much, Cynthia. I very much appreciate you. Make more teas. Yeah, I'm worried about like using up all my wood though. I need to, I need to cut down more trees really. Let me see how much wood I've got because I don't actually remember. That's really annoying as to how little I don't have of speed grove. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just have to live with it. I don't really have a choice. Okay, let's do this. I know there's an entire field that I haven't really done yet, but we'll get to it. For anyone who's doing anything for Thanksgiving, let me know your plans. Obviously, it's something we don't really, like, see or do here. I mean, like, we get the whole Black Friday sales and stuff here now, but... Like, the Thanksgiving part of it, no one really... Not, not, really, not really a thing. What am I hoping for for the new update? Honestly, it's one of those things that... For me... I don't have any particular wants or wishes or whatever simply because I feel like I missed out on being there for the last well all of the updates because I so I started playing Stardew technically in like I think it was 2017 on the Switch and obviously the game was a lot different then to what it is now or like you know there was, there was less content it was a bit older at that uh, it was it hadn't that not as much been I don't know what I'm trying to say not as much had been done and then obviously I got back into it a lot after 1.5 came out I got back into it it would have been nearly two years ago now right nearly two years ago but I got back into it um <clears throat> so I missed all the hype with when the update came out so like this time I'm just happy to be here <laughs> Happy to be here for whatever it brings, especially because like originally, obviously what we were mostly told was that it's just going to be completely focused for the most part on helping people to mod the game easier. Uh, but then a load of fun content also got added. So, you know, it's just really exciting. <laughs> Turkey shaped shortbread cookies. That's adorable. Your family is spread to this year you and your partner are having quite a holiday together see i do love I, I i like that vibe too you know cynthia thank you so much for the 199 super chat oh wait i can heart these <gasps> there we go i've hearted them helping your parents plan seeing family and eating food do you guys have like a sort of oh no i left some <laughs> do you guys have a sort of like go-to dish that is a favorite that you cannot have thanksgiving without like besides maybe the obvious like is there like a family speciality that you all have that's like this is what makes our thanksgiving ours gonna be you and your dad and you're making a roast lovely we're gonna be doing um an actual christmas dinner for ourselves this year we haven't done that yet i think last year we ended up with a takeaway and the year before that what was the year before that year before that we were with the family and then the year before that was uh basically we were gonna have you know a christmas just the two of us and then 
we sort of did everything way too last minute because we never had to like plan one for ourselves before. So we we didn't have a car yet. So we tried to do like essentially get a shop, like a grocery shop online uh, delivered. But obviously all the slots get booked up so fast. So we couldn't we couldn't do that. Uh, we luckily found on Deliveroo, which is kind of like Uber Eats. Uh, there was a little supermarket nearby that had like a little Christmas pack thing. So we did that. And then we ended up just having frozen pizzas. And then it was meant to be like Bailey's hot chocolate or something. And they sent this like other weird brand of Bailey's because they didn't have it, which was strange. So we said like, you know, obviously, you know, part of what it is like Bailey's is really expensive. And what they gave us isn't. So it wasn't like what exactly we paid for. And then we ended up getting essentially the entire thing for free because of it being wrong which was wild but <laughs> no it was really nice like that some watching some um movies and playing some games oh cynthia you did not have to do that but thank you so much i enjoy a good uh cup of coffee with my 100 days recording sessions so very much appreciated. Coastal, hello, how you doing? Right, I think I've got the whole farm planted up now. That didn't take long at all because of all the prep we did. Some of it has deluxe speaker, some of it does not. So <sighs> we're just going to have to live with it. <laughs> I've got some other seeds going on here, but I don't know if I'm going to bother with them because I don't, I don't think I need them. And anything else I need, I'm just going to shove on Ginger Island, I think. Leave on pause, hello, welcome in. Right, what else do I need to do? Uh, probably just gift Leo something. And I think I've already got gifts over at Ginger Island, so let's go have a look. Yeah, so th that is like a initial confusion. So journal quests are one thing. Um, the bulletin board, you can do the quests for on there. That is like your kind of start of money. <laughs> What was I here for again? Oh yeah. And then where is Leo? In the treehouse. Oh, and also I'm looking for the snake vertebrae, aren't I? I really need that. I still have milk on my list, but I don't know if I still need it. I don't even know if I need to really be grabbing these much anymore. I think I've cooked what I can. Like I've got enough fruit stored up already. Ooh, I need to, yeah. I'm happy I came here now. Look at all the weeds. Like some of them are very near our ancient fruit. Too close for comfort. You loved when Ginger Island came out, you got pretty far into the game and that giving you something new to get excited about. So I'm seeing a lot of that, like when 1.5 came out, a lot of people were like streaming it again and I was like, huh, I, you know, a lot of people still, still pretty much like pretty well into it. And then like you know, someone we knew was saying like, oh yeah, it's been, it's had a huge update. Loads of stuff's been added. The snake vertebrae is painful. I know for a fact though that, especially on a more recent save file of hers, may cannot relate. 1.1 <laughs> getting new farm map options. Was it just the standard farm before, I'm guessing? Ah, uh, yeah, so it was just the standard farm. A few months ago, you planned to be with your aunt for Thanksgiving. You were living with her. Which passed away during surgery? I'm so sorry. What season is it? It is currently spring. We are on the first of spring, a brand new year. Year seven, I believe. Yes, year seven. Right, no artifact spots here. I get that the first ones are going to be really hard. You started watching streams around that time? Yeah, I didn't I didn't really like watch too much Stardew content until sort of a couple of months before I started making it as well. Oh no, am I, have I, please don't tell me I missed my chance with Leo for the day. I, 
Did not realise that took me till 7pm. Please don't go to sleep yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> Had to make sure we get that gift in. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. I would have been able to do it like tomorrow, but you know. Is there anything I did on my first ever farm looking back makes me cringe? Um, I'm trying to think because there's so many things that I did on my first farm that I didn't really know. What did I do? I think some of it is like... Oh gosh, I can't remember for the life of me. At this point, I've played so many farms. <laughs> I can't remember. Like specific, potentially cringe things that I used to do. Look at all that stone. What the heck? That is so much stone. Ignore these UA Info Suite bundle things. It's just because I'm too lazy to swap out the bundle thing. Fun city fact. I would always love a fun city fact. Right, I think I've done everything I can for this first day. I've caught all the fish, haven't I? Yeah, I just wanted to like... I, I like to triple check some of these things. Okay, so... Ship Tamphora, that is the thing we're mainly missing. You loved playing on the river farm? Because obviously, see that makes sense for you because it's quite challenging. I've not even done a river farm one before. Trying to see if I can, how many artifact spots are there on this beach? What is going on? <laughs> Coral. Actually, yeah, we might be able to get some more. Uh, Speed grow down. Yeah, we should be able to. We've got th three more, so that's another 15. That's actually a fair amount. Greenhouse was later? Interesting. Oh, Caroline's greenhouse, yeah. See, I've, I've yet to do the river one. I think if I do... It's hard, see, it's, it's hard for me to, like, decide, because when it comes to those kind of things, like... You think to yourself, like, okay, if you're doing, like, a fishing base to run, maybe the Riverland one would be good, just as, like, something that kind of matches the vibe, but... It's too hard for me not to go for modded maps. Like, genuinely, there's so many good ones. I mean, look at this map, like, this is so cool. Okay, I mean, that's still better. Got any fruit? Not that- oh no, of course we don't. <laughs> it's full of kegs. <laughs> they had a different kind of variety. I, I, str I struggle when it comes to mods because I kind of like... want to play them all. <laughs> but you guys know this about me. I just really like my modded things. Uh, what have I done with my gold ore? It's probably- oh no, it's here. Okay, cool. Let's go to bed. I'm so not used to, like, just walking into my house on my own farm anymore. You play on Switch for the most part? See, I used to. I used to play on Switch. That was my first sort of experience with it. But as soon as I start playing it on PC with keyboard and mouse, I find it so much easier. Oh, mango sticky rice. <gasps> we can finish that one. How do I... Do I have the stuff for it in here already? Yeah! Another milestone! Nice early milestone for the day. Okay, we're done with cooking. That can go away now. You're an old one. So now we just have to wait for all this ancient fruit, really. Um. Now I could make the effort to go and like talk to leo every day is he yeah he's here now so i probably could just like do that okay i'm gonna wait until all the oak is ready placebo hello welcome in hope you're doing good today yes 
You didn't understand why anyone played the slingshot game until you tried it on PC. It's so different. The only thing I will say is I feel like Jenny the Prairie King will be easier on a controller. I do really enjoy that game now though, I will say. Uh, want me here for again? Oh yeah, just a talk. Does this parrot do anything? Just It just squawks, okay. I wasn't sure if it was like a second place for you to get like a... A hint. I feel like calendar time wise I've not been playing that long. I've been playing it for like two years but I mean that's still quite a long time but in the grand scheme of like how long it's been out and stuff it's, it's not that long but time wise I'm on like 1300 hours which is uh it's quite quite a lot just suddenly racked up all the hours but then like most of my content is stardew and then obviously like so some of the videos you know the 100 days videos involves me playing like 30 or so hours at a time so it's kind of understandable right let's have a look in the crafting thing i don't think i finished this yet so i want to just see if there's anything i can do immediately and it's very tempting for me to just shove this in stardew checkup but we like to make things painful for us sometimes so i'm not going to do that Am I missing? I'm missing a recipe of some description. Oh, I'm missing the solar panel. But I just want to make sure I've at least crafted everything else. I'm just checking I didn't already have it on my list. Any of these? I'm looking for anything that says number craft or doesn't say number crafted because I wouldn't have crafted it. I think I've got them all. It's just the soda panel. Oh, I need to go check the request board. I forgot to do that yesterday. I swear, if it's not the ginger version, I'm going to cry. Right. There's a Furby mod. That sounds terrifying. Any tips for the mine's hard mode? Um... Yeah, emergency staircases making sure like your weapon is pretty decent loads of food definitely having some source of ginger something which i always forget for the nausea also loads of bombs as well to try and like help you get your way down a lot quicker and also going on a good luck day gotta go your dad needs your help have fun prepping for thanksgiving and happy thanksgiving to you too i hope you have a very lovely day uh, or weekend, or however you celebrate it with your family. PS Prime Produce can't do that. Can't do that either. Okay, neither of them are any good. Because I can't ship any of them. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you know what I am going to do, though? No. We won't. That does not that does not get us towards our goal. I've started to get a bit addicted to Jenny the Prairie King, I won't lie. <laughs> Juno Mocom I'm still working on, but Jenny the Prairie King, I've been really, really loving it. I was tempted to go in there and like have a game, but it's not gonna get us anything towards our goal, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Gotta go do the washing up. Ah, what fun. Enjoy, enjoy the washing up. You don't celebrate Thanksgiving or 4th of July? We don't here either, but um, I like to wish the people that do, you know. Uh, 394 wood, we could do with some more. I've probably decimated every tree in the forest already, I'm willing to bet. But we'll go check. I'm trying to make sure I have productive uses of my time in between, because obviously we've got literally so long before all of our ancient fruit grows. Mr. Key scolded you for using staircases. PS Prime Produce not needed shipping the ability to complete. I'm, I haven't got any vegetables to give him. <laughs> right, no trees. You can indeed get level ups for Journey of the Prairie King. 
that's probably what helped me to be honest like maybe maybe i wouldn't have done anywhere near as well in that if i uh you know you do you're right you do drop the gold veggies in the store i suppose wait have i got loads of tarot tubers because that would count right i don't have loads he wants 25 doesn't he Eh, I don't need to do that one. I don't need to do that one. I'm more concerned with things that would actually, like... I mean, for, for you know, for two and a half... Uh, I don't know. I'm so indecisive with these things, it's unreal. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to plant all that tarot as well because of... I need to wait for... Oh, I do need to go check key quests. I do need to wait for the vertebrae before I feel comfortable planting. You like the 100 days runs? Thank you so much. They're, they're, um... I'm glad that, like, the sort of, like, high effort content does get a lot of love. And I do have so much fun making them. Now, if I put speed grow down on my ancient fruit now they'll still be a day behind won't they all the other ones yeah i mean it might still be worth it anyway right skull cavern invasion and keys kindness do i need any recipes here first no i do have them all so i don't need to worry i don't really need these okay so i re all i really need is i need keys crop to come up because this is Hurting my brain. I know, I've, I've just... <laughs> I've had really bad luck trying to get the keys crop to come up. I mean, it might have come up when I was trying to do... You know, trying to wait for the travelling cart and stuff, but... Been driving home from work. Have a safe trip. Okay. Favorite editing software? DaVinci Resolve. 100%. I would, uh, I would not use anything else. I haven't, I mean, I haven't tried, like, anything like Premiere Pro, but I've heard so many issues with it that I, uh, it would make me uncomfortable to, oh no, it comes out the same. It would make me uncomfortable to try it because I don't want to risk losing all my work and I really enjoy the fact that DaVinci auto saves like with pretty much every step so I can't really go too wrong like when I it doesn't crash often but when it does I don't really lose very much if anything you land on Premiere and you think it's better I think a lot of people like once they make the jump they also think it's better I am um, I did in the past few months make the jump to the studio version, which, um, obviously it's, it, it's an investment, but it was worth it because it saves me so much time, like so much time. I mean, the, effect, you know, the effects on their own, they're great, but it's so much faster because obviously like it can be very resource heavy on your PC, the, the, you know, DaVinci in general. But oh my god, like, you, so obviously, you know, I, I do a lot of long, long form content. So if I can render my videos at literally triple the speed, that's like huge for me. Other than talk to Leo, I don't think there's anything I need to do. I think I'm just gonna sell these. At some point, I'm probably gonna have to go through my chests and just like sell stuff because I don't need a lot of this anymore. Goodness, I feel so slow. The random one is great, thank you so much. You have the tree house? That's adorable, I love that. I 
I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Like, it's obviously, it's not... Um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not exactly a small price, but that's why I was, it took me a while to kind of make the decision. But as soon as I found out how much quicker it is to use, and obviously I do this, this is like what I do full time. It made sense. Miss Marzi, hello! Watched the new 100 Days video and loved it. Thank you so much. Speaking of um, generally loving the content, if you are enjoying the stream, please do hit the like button. It does help us out a lot. Oh, I forgot to plant a flower. Let's plant a flower. Do I have any seeds? Like, what do I have? I have tulips. I don't know if I want to... I mean, it's better than nothing. Why not? You can't get... Oh no! Oh! Oh, you can't get into the treehouse. So like... <laughs> I hope... I hope it's the thing that... You might be able to unlock soon because <laughs> oh my god you never use mods but you do now since finding the content i can't live I, I struggle without mods i love the mods a lot you thought me you thought i said plant flower not flower yeah that's an, that's that's an understandable mix up why did i just drink coffee to go to bed i'm literally there's obviously not much i can do until my stuff grows right now so uh We'll sleep one more day. <laughs> oh gosh, are you stuck with summer too? At least like it's a good one for friendship progress to be stuck with. I'm very aware that I've missed one. There it is. Alright Merchant, you better have something good for me today. I don't really know what that could possibly be. Oh, I need sunflower seeds, goat's milk or goat's cheese. There we go. Why do I have all these diamonds? Oh no, they're for money. <laughs> I completely forgot why I wanted them. There we go. A weekly boost of three and a half grand or so. Alright. Let's grab all of this. I should probably also make sure I'm doing things like smelting any iridium I've got. I think I need to check on that, actually. I haven't looked at my, like, furnaces in a while. A speed boost is nice. You pass out- yeah, that's painful having to pass out every night. For, like, that long as well. See, that's scary, because obviously for me, I was like, oh no, I've got a week of, nearly a week of not being able to sleep. If you pass out in the volcano, you get to your island farmhouse, ironically, in the volcano. So you can't get out of the volcano once you're in? You've got some horrible rolls. <laughs> I thought mine were bad. Uh... The answer is no. Sometimes I end up scrolling through the traveling merchant stock like five or six times because I get scared that I've like... missed something there. The arches are so annoying, I agree. Does oil have garlic work on that heart of mines? I never tried that, but that's just a thing that's sprung into my mind. Have I seen Moonstone Island? I have. I have seen Moonstone Island. I haven't just like had the time at all to really get into it. So the volcano, yeah, it does have the way out on floor five, but you don't always get it. So it depends on what the randomizer gives you. So if you pay for the 
walnuts to get out of floor five, it might not give you the shortcut. It might give you something completely different. That is the problem. Um, I do have a lot of this. Like, I don't foresee myself immediately being able to make 200 kegs instantly. So I'm just going to use that to get a little bit of extra money. So we are six and a half ish million off our golden clock. That is our biggest purchase that we need to do. Let's go check the situation with ores. So I got that in terms of copper and iron. There's gold down here. I don't know why I've kept it in this form. This is for crafting. Have I already done that though? I think I have. I think I've done everything that needs. I'm not going to get rid of it just in case. I'm just kind of worried. It will stop sw swarms and mo monster floors. So does it not... I just I can't remember how it worked. I don't really use it much, if ever. No, I don't really use it. Okay, we've got some up here. So let's do... Oh, I'm out of coal. Maybe we should farm for coal. Do I have any bat wings at home? I'll have a coal farming day. You're enjoying it? I it's, it's a game that I like saw like a long while back and did kind of want to get into. I've just I literally just haven't had the chance. Uh I made five. I don't think I needed to make five, but we've we've got five now. That's a lot of bone fragments. Should I just go through my chest real quick and just try and sell off some excess stuff? Like any forage that isn't iridium quality. Oh, I suppose I could make them into more seeds. Anything that I can make into more seeds, I'll make into more seeds. Just take a minute to organize ourselves a bit. This is a lot of salmon berries. I don't need all of those. Spring forage, what have I got? So, oh, right. Those, those. Uh, it's the daffodils, but I don't really need... Oh, it's also the horseradish. That's why I haven't got all of them. Anything I can't make into seeds, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, get rid of it at this point, because I don't really have an immediate need for it. And then... These... Uh, those... Maybe I'll keep the basic ones as well, just because I haven't got that many. I get worried that I'm going to need them for something. What am I missing? Snow yams. I just not got... Oh, I've got loads of snow yams. Keep some, turn the rest into seeds. I already have an absurd amount of seeds, but... Just little boosts, you know? Makes a Pokemon in Stardew. I've watched, um... Shawnee's videos on it, and they're really good. Stop all mon so the oil of garlic will stop all monsters on the regular mines in Skull Caverns and Dangerous version. It will still allow monsters, but potentially not the like infested floors and swarms. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's so cool. I did not know that. I didn't fully know how it worked. Uh, not me forgetting how some of these forage seeds. Were Why is there iron ore in there? I just realised. Hold up, what am I doing? Um, just keep like a bit of everything on the off chance, you know? I almost deleted the iron ore then, that would have been bad. Like we have an absurd amount of forage seeds, at some point I do need to do something with them. I hope everyone's having a good day too. I am having, I mean, I, I played, I played my, um, un, uh, archipelago save for like seven hours today. So, oops, but also it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was worth it. Uh, yeah, we'll keep some of the rubies. We'll, I mean, like, I don't know if I, I don't need to keep this many. I'm going to end up with more somehow at some point, I'm guessing. 
it's just a case now of going through all the chests and making sure that I'm, for the most part, just keeping stuff I really need. Seeds will stay as is. Crop wise. We'll leave like this. Actually, shall I just leave them? No, I don't need to. Mainly just things that we've got quite an excess of. Uh, I could probably turn those into pale ale if I can be bothered. Like I've got 15 iridium pomegranates, I don't need the others. It's mainly the gold star stuff I'm keeping. Uh, like the best quality of the stuff that I'm keeping. So many apples. Right. I mean, this has given us quite a boost, to be fair. That's going to stay as is. This is all food. I'm kind of reluctant to part with any of this. I don't know why. I always just feel weird when it comes to food. And also a random pearl in the food chest. Casual. Oh, let's leave the axe here as well. I don't need that right now. I feel like we made a good couple of hundred grand there. Just from... Well, no, it was like 150 or whatever. Is Stardew Valley Expanded the best? It depends on what you need mod-wise. I wouldn't be able to say like definitively that that is solely the best mod on its own because like if I was thinking about anything else at all UA Info Suite is probably my favourite mod like in general just makes my life a bit easier there we go you see you never yeah you never know when you're gonna need it oh, what am I doing again I'm here for I'm here for farming coal so let's farm coal Uh, oh, I forgot that I did this. Whoops. Not that it matters, but... <gasps> Prismatic shot! <laughs> oh my god, how funny! Literally the second we get in here. Prismatic shot. You regret selling oh no yeah the um the fish ponds asked for some wacky stuff i don't really want to go over there for whatever reason i don't know why absolutely not oh yeah colt's there okay that's horrible and then they're having to open like so many geos <laughs> I love getting free key gems, randomly. Oh yeah, we get to top up our coffee this way as well, don't we? I forgot about that. It's just like when the sturgeons ask for a diamond, it's like, what? why would you need this? I would r rather you didn't eat it. I don't, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't have much iron. Maybe I also need to be making sure that I do pick up any iron I see. I still can't believe we just got a prismatic shard like immediately. Okay, maybe. Okay, after this floor, we'll probably just go to 40 to farm iron. Whoops. Shouldn't have let that uh cocoon. 
I am here on a bad luck day though, so I don't. When are we getting a whole gold bar? These bats are kind of lethal. I'm very aware of my health. Oh, that's not quite what I was expecting to happen. Uh. Did not mean to go down that hole just yet. Or ladder. Yes, if you have if you have any challenges uh, challenge ideas uh and you're not already in the Discord, please do join. It's linked in the description. And we have a Stardew Challenges channel. That has like a little sort of template that you can post and uh, let us know your idea because then anyone in the community would be able to give it a try. And yeah, obviously there's no there's no guarantees that like I'd be able to do it. But at least then like the idea is there for anyone who might want to give it a go. Did I get any iron at all? I mean, I got two bars worth. I don't think it's worth me going to shove that to smelt immediately. Right, I'll start doing floor 41. This is a terrible day to have picked to want to also be getting iron though. I mean, there is one node. Better than nothing. Give me that. Wow, a whole three ore. I've been spoiled. This floor is too dark for my liking. I don't want to do it. only one single thing down there and it's got a slime in the way i probably should thinking about it i probably should have done this on the normal mines really oh no don't get slimed that's really annoying go away I'm getting pretty good, like, ladder drops. Never killed one of these sticks before. They have so much health. Right, this floor's still really dark, but I see that there are lots of mushrooms. Stardew, but you can't donate until you have everything. Yes, get in the Discord. I do like that idea, actually. Not being able to take advantage of a single thing until you have every item. There's a runaway one, but I'm too lazy. Do not. Okay. <laughs> that was close. I do like this hammer. Emily, hello. Welcome in. Just having a moment to refill my health. I try not to talk too much when I eat. Because obviously all you hear is spam clicking. Alright, whiffle. I'm not doing the rest here because there's too many other monsters that I'm too lazy to fight. I 
had some pretty bad luck with um, iron, but I mean, it, again, it is a bad luck day. Dust Rope Massacre indeed, except Mushroom Edition. <laughs> I love the green floors as well. Aubrey, hello, welcome in. Hope you're doing hope you've been doing good. Could not get my words out there. Words are hard. There's Ugh. need to get down here and get that one single iron. Why is this floor always dark? I hate it. I hate it here. Bit of multitasking going on. I thought this was going to end up being not a very good coal farming day, but do you know what? We've got 107 so far and I'm, I'm not... I'm not mad at that amount. Oh, look at all that iron. That's more like it. Proper amount. No, not going down there. Minecraft and Terraria. Um, I like both games. I don't know a huge amount about terraria i have played literally the tiniest amount of that game um but minecraft i've played quite a lot of over the years just haven't really been into it like recently so i'm not really up to date with what's going on with updates and such i missed an iron node but that's okay um but in general got a little special place in my heart for that game I don't want to get every... Can you... It's when they get stuck like on your body and you can't hit them when they're on you. Like, get off me. Personal space, please. I do have monster musk on, so there would... It would spawn more. You played it a lot as a kid. I only got into it in the past like couple of years or well like a year um, and so when I say got into it it's like one of those things that I've got on my mind is something I want to play. I've put it up for voting a few times for 100 day stuff but it's not one yet. Um, I don't know if it ever will but it may do one day. Ah, I meant to um, hammer smack, but instead I went down the ladder. I don't know anything about, I don't really watch much Minecraft content anymore. But I'm aware that it exists in general. It's been close to winning, but just not quite got there yet. Will I ever play Sims 4 on the channel? Dare the 100 baby challenge? Um, probably not, just because, I mean, this was, to be fair, this was a long time ago when I had, like, 80 subscribers, but when, back then, when I tried to dip my toes into Sims content, it would perform by far the worst out of anything I posted. Like, at all. So, I don't know if, like, it's something, I think it's just like, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I know that the game's also changed a lot since I've last tried to play. That's another one of those games that's changed a lot. I've done like, just sort of playing for myself and not for any content or anything before. I have done like legacy challenges and, um, you know, things like that. I've never tried the 100 baby challenge because I know that that is, um, well, 
very much a challenge. I just used to really love building. I'm, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself like an amazing builder. There's so many good builders out there in The Sims, but one of my favorite things to do in the game was build. Get out of there. It's so hard to keep up. Yeah, I, I get that. I used to like, not fully keep up, but like I used to do, you know, deals where you can get, um, like, you know, you get like three packs at once for a price like that are bundled together. I used to do that and that was a good way to like save money on those things. But in general, yeah, it's really hard to keep up with them. Because they are, um, you know, if you get all of them, they are a lot of money. But no, I haven't bought a Sims pack. I think the last Sims pack I bought was Cottage Living. Um, and even then, like, I'd had a huge break from the game. In general. I don't even... I don't think I even have it installed, so... Like, it's been a while. But I used to play it a lot. I used to love The Sims. And, yeah, that's the thing. Like, Terraria is... Terraria is huge. I wouldn't want to play that game until I have the time to, like fully dedicate to like if i have it in a format of like 100 days type stuff i tend to learn games so much better that way because i'm just playing it a lot all at once and not just like a couple of hours a week or something it's so much easier to absorb the information for me when i do that i think that's one of the reasons that it took me a long time to get into stardew because it wasn't until i did it in a 100 days type thing that i learned a lot and um same with Actually, same with Sunhaven, like... Uh, oh, damn it. Um, I wanted to... Like, so the very first Let's Play series on this channel is actually Sunhaven. Back when, like, in a lot of its earlier days. And then I did the 100 days thing and learned so much more about the game. And I'm trying to think of, like, if there are any other games. Same with Graveyard Keeper as well. I barely got into that too. Yeah, exactly. I feel like a lot of people who wanted I mean, people were asking for farming for years, right? So as soon as they brought that, I was like, yeah, I need I need it. I need it. 100 Days Calamity, one of the best mods. See, I, I have I've heard that that's also uh, that is a really good mod. But would you say like, is it one of those ones where oh, I'm stuck. Is it one of those ones where like, really, you should do vanilla first? Because I know that like even the vanilla Terraria is really hard. They does not great. Oh no. That's horrible when you're in a situation where you've got a bit spotty single for a minute. Calamity's not newbie friendly. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I I've heard like that it's no good. Oh, I passed out. I didn't even realize. Just chatting to you guys. That, that passed so much time so quick. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining though. If, you if, you're if your signal... Um, if your data, if your, your, if your internet stops working properly, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I don't know what just happened to that sentence, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> you used to play Farmville a lot. Oh my gosh, yeah, I used to play Farmville a lot too. When it first became a thing. There's a, there's a lot of things that like I really want to try it's just time but because I'm also trying to be better with giving myself time to enjoy stuff on my own and not for content so I obviously like a, a couple of weeks ago I talked about the fact that I was getting uh, I Michael got me Pikmin 4 as a recovery gift for the surgery, for the wisdom tooth surgery, and I finally completed it like a few days ago, I think. And it was so good. And this time I'm like, 
basically I only really got into the game when I was about 70% of the way through, not got into it, but like got the hang of it. So I got to the end, I was like, no, I'm not ready for this to be done. And I was like, hang on a minute, I'm going to play this again and see if I can beat my time. <laughs> Deep Rock Galactic, uh, not really my thing. Beat the Wall of Flesh in 100 days. That sounds terrifying. Hope you don't mind, but you've come to fall asleep. Of course I don't mind. Having a bad fibro and chronic fatigue day. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't, um, I don't have fibro, fibro. I don't have fibro, but I do have chronic fatigue. So I get it. And that's rough. And honestly, I use a lot of content to sleep myself. So, um, I, I appreciate it. Like, there's a lot of people that I've seen that are like... Not a lot of people. There are some people out there that I've seen that get offended that people use the content to sleep. And I'm like, no, no, I like it. Like, people can leave it on. You know, the, the watch time's still there. Oftentimes, like, you know, half the time people will come back and re-watch it when they're wanting to actually, like, watch it. I don't find any issue with that. I like it. A lot of people come here to to sleep. But I hope you have a good restful evening, a good nap, and a good recovery as well. Because I know I know it's not easy. It freaking sucks. There is nothing quite like a chronic fatigue crash. Which is also what that's another reason why I've been trying to like balance stuff. Oh, I need to go see Sandy today. Because <sighs> I'm trying to avoid the situation of being in a crash at the time of year where I least want it. I mean, I don't want it any time of year, but like, you know, with streamers and stuff, like December and everything, I, I don't want it right now. Like, I definitely don't want it right now. You did 10 minutes on the treadmill fast walking speed and it sapped everything you had. I totally get that. I totally get that. What was I doing? Sandy. Sandy's not open yet, though. Right, I'm going to remove milk from my list because I don't think I need it anymore. I'm still going to go see Sandy. We're still going to go get this week's milk. But I don't think I need it anymore. Do I like underwater games? It depends what they are. Nice to have something calm to try and sleep with. If you wake up from the pain, you don't have to strain yourself trying to find something to watch. I love that. No, I appreciate I appreciate it. I'm like sort of honored that my videos are relaxing enough <laughs> for that. Like I I feel like that is like that's quite a big deal to me. Because I know like, you know, it's I don't think you can find that with everyone. Like not everyone's content is built for people wanting to sleep. And what's like, I, I guess like I don't necessarily fully build it. I mean, maybe the like mega movies kind of, but that wasn't the original thing I had in mind. But because like I'd always, for years, I've like slept to YouTube videos. When people started saying that with me, I was like, oh my God, like I, I do this like with other people's stuff. It's so cool that people are now doing it with my stuff, like Subnautica. I've not tried Subnautica. I have to, so some games I have to be careful. I think the reason I haven't played Subnautica is because there are games where I get motion sickness, and I think that is that would be one of them. Looking at what it looks like, Mary's Nest, the cooking channel. I might have to have a look at that. Being autistic on top of the rest sleeve isn't. Sleep isn't kind to use at four hours max and one go, so it's nice to have something with you. That's rough. See, I mostly, like, I don't have a problem with that. Like, for me, the problem is making sure I don't sleep too much. I mean, I, you know, when I'm crashing, I have to, but it just, like, it gives me this, like, feeling of dread when I'm in a crash and I feel like I'm not sort of fully in control of my time and... You know, when you're sleeping, you know, like for the most part, people say like, oh, yeah, you're meant to sleep, you know, eight, eight hours a night, eight hours a night. I think my sort of sweet spot is actually more like nine ish. But this is the wrong chest. But um, 
when I'm like fully in a crash, I can easily sleep over 12 hours a night. And when I'm sleeping for over half of my time, it like upsets me because I'm like, you know, time is generally limited, right? I don't want to spend literally half my life asleep. Okay. Let's go talk to Leo. And then we will go back to bed. Where is he? He's going through town. It's a fine balance. You stopped caring for yourself and got really out of shape the last two years. It was really hard on you. I'm so sorry. You got a treadmill and started looking after yourself again. I just got... No, I didn't just get I've had them for a while. I need to use start using them properly again. But we... um, I've got these like pedals that go under my desk. So when I'm working, I'm supposed to start pedaling on them. I just haven't done it for a while. I need to get a new like grip mat thing because it's been like destroyed. <laughs> so we need a new one. Because uh, otherwise it just kind of slides around the floor. But the, the pedals for like when I'm working are pretty good. Where? Oh, I'm so dumb. <sighs> Me not being able to read a map. Let's try that again. I'm trying to beat Leo to the beach because I know for a fact he's going to Ginger Island. Hi. Okay, that was it. That's all I needed. I'm glad you are starting to be able to look after yourself again. I guess it's like, oh, I watched, so I watched a video the other day about people's routines and um, someone was saying like, and this is good for people who either struggle with keeping up a routine or, you know, people who have, a lot of people with ADHD also struggle with routine and such. And they've got like essentially three routines for like morning and evening they've got like their ideal one where they do everything that they want to do um then they've got like one that's like very bare bones but still involves like holding a routine and doing like the bare minimum of what their energy will allow them to do and then one that's in between that so i i thought i when i heard about that it kind of got me thinking like huh i feel like i should like start thinking about that so like instead of being you know like oh i want to make sure i'm doing 30 minutes a day of like the pedaling on the days where i don't feel good maybe i make that five to ten minutes instead or something or on my lowest energy days i just won't do it at all like I don't, it's hard to describe it. I can't remember who I got it from either. I would I would literally like show the video, but I can't remember where it was or who it was from. Because it was one of those videos that I like, it's not someone I'm like subscribed to or like seen before. It just kind of popped up in my recommended and I saw this one video and I was like, huh, that's good. And then like, because I'm working half the time, it ends up just auto playing for something else and I've lost it. And I can't remember the title even. I just remember it being like a routine that you have like your ideal things and then on the days where you have like less energy you strip some of it back but you keep some of it so that like you still feel good about having that routine but it's not forcing you to do everything because they all take energy and executive function that you might not have on that day I, yeah I, I get that I definitely get that But I think I need to like, I feel like I need to do that for myself because at the moment there's like a couple of things that I do have in my routine that are like at this point habit, I don't need to think about them. Like taking my meds and such, like I've put them in a place where I can't forget them. I do it, you know, I have, I have to have my meds twice a day. So as soon as I wake up, as soon as I go to bed, then there's like no messing that up. And it's like right where I need them. And then let's have a coffee and a spicy eel actually i probably should have done that before i started harvesting i might have got some extras
And I've also started doing things like, um, I'm starting to try and make more foods that we can like, essentially freeze for later. Just to like have a bit of variety and such, like easily on hand that might be a bit healthier and whatever. You have them in two different places so that you can't forget. That makes a lot of sense. See, for me, the worry would be um, I would struggle to keep track of how much I have left. What I have started to do is use the um, sort of like tablet containers like that have the days of the week on them. That makes it easier for me. Because it's only like a one step thing, then I just pop that. I mean, I, it does take effort to obviously refill them every few weeks, but... Um, it's just like a one step, I pop it open, everything I need is there, I don't have to think about it. Like sometimes the pain for me is like having to get them out of each sheet. I find annoying. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find like what works for you, it could just be that that particular one doesn't work for you, but... um. Like, I know for a fact that I've definitely had to be on several different anxiety meds to find the one that was right for me. And it just takes it just takes some time. And what's right for you now might not be right for you in some time later. Uh, it's just it's just one of them things that you have to think about every so often. You get yelled at because you're on blood pressure medication. That sounds terrifying. Blood pressure is some, one of those things that I've had to start to, like, watch myself, though, obviously, because of ADHD meds. They do have to monitor blood pressure and heart rate and such with that. But because I'm, like, naturally, when going out and doing stuff, a little bit of a stress head, um, I've got a machine for blood pressure to take the readings at home because whenever I go into the doctors to do it on their machine, because I've, like, had to go up, get up, go out and be somewhere, it's always worse. <laughs> so whenever I've done it at home, they've been like fine with it. But whenever I go out and do it, they're not so much. They're like, ah, it's a bit, it's a bit high. And I'm like, it's not always like this, I promise. <laughs> you forget on your days off. See, that makes sense. Because like your routine is entirely different on a day off. Oh, that's so scary. I'm sorry you're having to deal with that too. Like honestly, health anxiety definitely a thing for me. You're being investigated for parts too, oh my goodness. I think the weirdest thing I've had, like, for myself is, um, I get ectopic beats, which, if you don't know what they are, essentially, what happens sometimes is, like, your heart might beat, like, one beat extra quick than what it should have done. So then to correct that, your heart has to, like, slow down again to, like, correct the rhythm. And what it feels like for a second is you don't necessarily feel the beat that goes too quick but what you do feel is the feeling of your heart stopping <laughs> to like right itself again and it doesn't it doesn't do it for long but good grief it's terrifying <laughs> hopefully you get that yeah hopefully you do get that figured out like i at first they were like, no, I don't see anything wrong. And then I pointed it out on... At the time I had a... I've got like the Apple Watch SE at the moment, which doesn't do ECG things, but I had one that did do ECGs. And um, so like my my, um, my GP said everything was like normal or every and everything. And she's a good GP as well. She doesn't brush anything off after like having a 24 hour monitor. And um, so I, I brought in printouts of 
the ECGs. And she was like, oh yeah, I can very clearly see where that is. And just kind of explained it. And they're not dangerous, they're just like a bit shocking. But I only really get it when I'm extremely stressed. So I haven't really... I don't get them very often anymore, to be honest. I used to get them a lot, but I don't get them very often anymore. Which is quite nice. Yeah, you literally just, you sit there and like... <gasps> I'm just like, okay, can, can you like... Can you hurry up and go again? <laughs> I also found out recently that um, there's a lot of type, there's different types of heart moments as well. And some are harmful and some are not. Which is wild to me. Did you just hear that and automatically think, oh my goodness, that's terrifying, but apparently they're not all bad. It's just a noise. See, I get mine race after I eat. And I've had it, I've had things, like I've had, you know, tested for like diabetes and such, and it's not that, so. No one really knows why it happens, but. I'm just strange. <laughs> I'm so excited about this wine day. I, I still need to... Okay, I'm not going to end this day until I... Have I been to the merchant today? I must have. Because the icon's not there. I'm not going to end this day until I put paths in this damn room because I'm going to forget. It's a grapefruit and it spins. That's adorable. <laughs> Mine's just like, a, it's like a rainbow one. All the, all the days of the week are a different color. It's one of those things that like, especially if you've only just started, it does take time. Dardy Valley, but you can't eat or drink. Now that's terrifying. I feel like I would die all the time if I couldn't eat or drink because I rely on food so heavily. I suppose it would force me to get better at like combat though. Like okay sure the buffs would like not having buffs would suck. But yeah that's that's scary. <laughs> that's a scary thought. You know I might be able to f get more kegs. Oh no never mind. I don't have enough wine to put in the kegs anyway, so there's no point me doing it just yet. It will be hard to, put to progress things in general, this is true. Oh, I'm like two fruit short, that's so sad. Okay. Oh, it's because I had pineapples as well. Oh well, I can't be bothered. I'm, I'm not going to go just for that. 568,000 gold. There we go, we've crossed the 4 million mark. You want to try that at some point? You haven't done a Jojo run yet? I've only done it in Expanded, but I feel like now that I've done it in, in Expanded, I, wouldn't, I don't want to do it. In Vanilla, I don't feel like it would add any value for me because, like... The expanded one adds so much content. Are you doing it? Actually, 1.6 are changing things, aren't they? That there, there's a Joja bird. So I wonder if doing it that way means you've got something different. Maybe that'll give me an incentive to do one. Oh, I need to give Kent a star fruit. Um, Amani wants amaranth. Do I have any spare? I don't know if I do. You know. I don't think I do. Do I have any seeds? I have a seed. I suppose I can go and plant it. I'll destroy a strawberry for it. Oh, I don't need to. There we go. I guess it's like as long as like it's finding someone who will happily work with you on them, you know. Right, so Leo is on Ginger Island today. I'm looking for Kent who is at home. Okay. 
<laughs> Katie, hello! Made it to two streams in a row, welcome! I hope your week has been good so far. Happy midweek. The 110's looking cosy. I can't remember what it looks like. I guess I can go and have a look. Oh, I almost just gave that to the wrong person. Wait, I could have... Oh, no, he's here. I just walked past him. <laughs> here you go. Thank you very much. Wow, 500 gold. That was so not worth it. Oh, well. Let me go and have a look how I'm doing for farm totems as well, because I don't... I'm pretty sure I had some. But I don't know. fed up on not being able to do what others can i feel that like um there's a lot of stuff like obviously physically i struggle with my last like major crash happened to coincide with me essentially being able to make this my full-time job so that worked out well but i was working very small hours part-time for a um retail store and it just like ruined me for a while and it was only very small hours what am i here for again oh no i don't remember what i'm doing okay i'm not going to give leah a gift today paths do we already have some made up somewhere probably if not i'll just oh yeah they'll do they'll do i just want to stop the fruit spawning because it kind of more gets in my way than anything probably shouldn't wait until 24 to sort it out I, I mean at least like at least you're doing something at the end of the day like you know before this point it could have been that you weren't ready yet and that's okay it's a lot Um, right, that's it for today. My house is actually here. I don't need to leave the farm. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting I don't need to leave. I don't need to go sleep at the community centre. <laughs> Alright, new quest day. Also, jelly day. Let's do some pineapple jelly. Oh, I did pineapple jelly last time. Good. Good, good. Because it's good money. Better money than strawberries. Not that strawberries are bad. Just these are better. Never knowing what you're supposed to be doing or where to go. Exactly. I've literally got three on the go. There's this. There's the archipelago one. And one life. I mean, hey, I got... Um, basically everything you know stuff being looked at in my late 20s so <laughs> just one of them things uh right monday so where are you today you're on the island we'll go give a gift we'll go check out the key quests please be keys crop i'm begging i'm begging if it's not today i'm gonna struggle actually i don't need to do keys crop i just need it to make the wine that's all i care about Yes. Okay. Oh, I need the gift first. <laughs> that might help. Um... We'll do the poi. I made it for that reason. Hey, you finished the mines, congrats. The wine and the jelly, yes, you're right. Let's go look at that first, because I'm going to forget. Yeah, exactly. Everything does start somewhere. Oh, 
Okay. No! <laughs> Why? Uh, okay. Never mind. You have to go lay down. I hope you have a good rest. Thank you so much for stopping by. Very much appreciate you being here. Oh, I'm so sad. Well, I really hope... Okay. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get the 100 ginger quest. Wait, are you even here? Yeah, you are. Island ingredients, please, after this. No, don't eat the poi. Please don't eat the poi. How are we doing now? Okay, seven. we're getting there, we're getting there. Again, I forgot about the um, farm totems, but it's okay. Probably leave by the boat this time and it'll be quicker to the board, won't it? Go! Me spam it, spamming F to skip. Horse float with key to the town. Um, I would go key to the town first, personally. Don't eat the <laughs> poi with a p. Kitty Eva, hello, welcome in. Uh, tropical fish and gifts of George. No. Just no. <gasps> Sorry. Um. I'll make up for it. Definitely don't eat Leo. <laughs> Key first flute after. Yeah, that's that's the order I would do it in. Key to the town is almost always the first thing I buy in general with any key gems at all. It just makes everything else so much easier. I don't like being restricted to opening times. All right, I've done that. 14 days till our first ancient fruit arrives. That's very exciting. Let me go see how we're doing in terms of ores. Because obviously I did start smelting stuff. You like the videos? Thank you so much. But you have to study right now. Well, I hope you have a good study session. Thank you for coming to say hi. If only the key worked on festival. Day. Honestly, I wish. Like, what? Do they just change the locks for that day? <laughs> okay so i'm gonna save some obviously not many but some uh i think that's it and then these iridium bars i'm gonna sell see if we can get i don't think i'm gonna be able to make 29 more kegs because trees i mean wood i mean yeah wood from tree you know <laughs> but what just happened I don't have enough wood. They just jam them instead. Could be true. Could be true. We don't know what they do. We don't know. Or maybe the wizard does it. <laughs> Can you imagine? 464 wood. That's not going to give us anywhere near enough. But oh, that's pine tar. That's not oak risen. 15. Okay. I mean, it's a start. That's still a lot more kegs. And they crawl out the windows. <laughs> Can you imagine? Go up to here because I get worried that it's going to mess up. And then from this side, we're, we're almost completely full from the bus tunnel as well. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, nope. That's going to annoy me. Fixed it. <laughs> There are people that throw rocks at Linus. This is true. This is very true. I hate that. Not harming anyone. Back to bed we go. Um, 
now I don't think I really need to do anything again till Friday. When the next traveling merchant comes along. Because obviously the next big thing really are the quests. I probably should have gone and got a magic rock candy. I mean, I don't overly need it. Oops, that's the fridge. Some more jelly. Don't eat the pineapple, please. Please do not eat. Is there anything I, I've not seen anything, but is there anything in the game that sort of like hints towards who's done who throws rocks at the tent? Or do we just not know? Does anyone know anything? Is there a is there a theory for this? Because I feel like I equally couldn't picture anyone doing it, you know? Well, thanks, Lewis. 50 wood from Robin, I need that. Also, thanks again, Lewis. Oh, the egg festival tomorrow will do it for the thousand gold. Tulip honey. Maybe it was Jojo workers. So like, as in like Jojo workers that we don't know or like Shane and Sam. You thought it was Sebastian is a line about throwing rocks at the cliff wall. It might have just ricocheted onto the tent. Yeah, because I can't imagine anyone like intentionally doing harm but it could have just like fallen i mean you know throw rocks responsibly but, but still right cave carrot nothing that we need again great vincent and jazz threw rocks by the train hmm so it could be like it could actually be multiple people if it's uh, oak resin day, do I want to bother? I won't bother this week. I'm lazy. I'm also just letting the wood build up a little bit on the farm. Let's do us an egg hunt. Actually, I can chop the wood whilst we're waiting for the egg hunt to start. What's this? Hey from Marnie. Useless. <laughs> we can do nothing with this. Can I still access Sandy today? Does anyone know? I don't need to go for milk anymore. I don't I really don't need it. People ridiculing it. Oh yeah, have you come to ridicule me? It's gotta be Morris, can you imagine? I feel like I mean Morris never leaves, right? Like unless you play expanded, then he does, but like in vanilla, he just lives there. <laughs> Literally just lives at the Jojo Mart. Full trees anywhere? We'll get rid of that. Don't want any chance of it ruining our path. Oh, look at all those maple trees. I'm going to lose all that wood, though. It's going to go off the other side. Oh, well. I can control some of it the best I can, but... Yeah, we definitely lost some. And I can't even get to that tree. Pretty soon I should be able to just de go and decimate the entire forest again. I'm hoping at least. Food offering magnetism. Ooh, let's have a look. Do I have anything? <laughs> I might as well use it, right? I don't know if I, I might have something indoors. Oh. Be in hot pot. The rock slide is definitely caused by Georgia. This is very true. Hello? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's what I didn't get. <laughs> that just 
this happened. A, we forgot about it. <laughs> B, like... I'm just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> exactly this area. Wait, before you eat that bean hot pot, have a statue. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was just sap. A single piece of sap that I missed out. Oh, that's hilarious. I did that all for a piece of sap. Never mind. Well, I can get free radium more now, so that's... You know, we need, we do, we could do with that. I'll get, I'll put it in the house so I can't like forget to deal with it. <laughs> what the heck? I'm not going to lie. I do actually forget about the statue pretty often, like embarrassingly often. You can go there. Let's go grab some eggs. What are your predictions? How many eggs am I going to get today? Ooh. Um, the only person I need to talk to here is Leo, so I can just get straight on with the festival. You tend to just have it as decor. See, I'm, I don't mind the Iridium all right now. I mean, it's not going to give me a huge amount. We think first guess of 13. 10, 11... do this we've got between 10 and 13 and all of the numbers in between i'm going oh there's one up there i didn't even see that until now now the thing i've only just figured out in the past like day is walking along and just holding right click. I'm ignoring that one because it's so far away from any of the other eggs. Because half the time I miss them because I'm not just like I'm trying to click when I get there. I don't need to do that. I can just hold the button down. And you just pick them up. What's my favorite cutscene? Ooh, that's a difficult choice. Oh, I don't know what I'd pick there. No, go away. <laughs> that's the only problem with holding down right click, I guess. Go away. Oh, what did I get? I didn't even see. You always think Jazz is an egg. Oh, no. I think I would have been able to get one more if I wasn't stuck by the truck and the gravestone. I must have got 13. I just want the extra thousand gold. Congrats, Aubrey. Good guess, good guess. I'm happy with that. For years, in game years, I suppose, I always thought that, like, basically, it's only been recently that I've started spotting more and more eggs. Oh, yeah, it's wine day tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> That's come around quick, because I guess I slept for the in slept? I slept for the entire week. Let's have a look. More wood from Robin, yes. Give me the free wood. She must know that I'm in need of loads of wood. Three hundred and six. That's actually enough for like. Wait, how many? I might as well make the kegs because I'm gonna need them today. Uh, copper iron. Oh, I made the ten. Okay, perfect. So I ran out of both copper and wood. That's perfect. <laughs> Now to go buy a lottery ticket. You know things. Aubrey saw into the future to see that I was going to get 13 eggs. Uh, Poppy seeds, yum. Duck egg, I don't need that. Don't need any of this. Bring me something good, please. Making me sad. Another ancient view harvest, let's go.
Oh, the amaranth. I need to go get my scythe. Uh, I'll deal with it another time. It's not urgent. I'm being lazy. I do save the middle of the greenhouse for emergency crops. <laughs> oh no. Don't remind me, May. <laughs> when, uh. And you've been telling me for weeks to check the description of the rare seeds. I thought it was just going to have, like, for the longest time, I, until I obviously made the mistake, like, fully realized the mistake, I thought that it just had, like, some funny chain description on there. Not that the actual seeds had changed. It mines for, like, bonus or the ancient fruit. I do get sad that the weeds spawn still quite a lot. <laughs> oh no, Trish. That happens. That does happen. The amount of times as well that I'll have a live stream I'm on like whilst I'm working on stuff. And I'll, f like, I'll get up to do something. Like get some food or something and I forget and I pause it. <laughs> and then I'm wondering like... Wait, I feel like I'm really behind. Or like I'll be reading the chat. I, I do lurk a lot in like streams like when i'm working and something happens to me and i'll often be lurking but like i'll see something in chat that's just like not even remotely going on right now and then i'll realize <laughs> the live is trashy because of the thing about the trash can i get it i get it i respect it what are these numbers for? <laughs> oh no. Um, if you hadn't seen it, if you hadn't ended up seeing it, it's for the egg hunt. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. I get it. I get the joke. Yeah, exactly. Aubrey, I do exactly the same thing. I forget it's live. Or not even just like necessarily forgetting it's live. It's just habit that if I'm getting up from my desk, I hit pause. And obviously more often than not, like... I'm watching something not live. So obviously if it's a video, I'm going to pause it because I don't want to, you know. When it is live, I like to keep it live. Pizza and a drink. Lovely. Enjoy. Oh, I would love some pizza. Pizza's so good. Just having a quick look if there are any artifact spots before I leave. They're in nil. This damn snake vertebrae. <laughs> can't cope. I can't cope. This is painful. We need a gift for Leo. Where is Leo? Leo is actually on the island. You did you have the? Uh, you must have had the pizza. Oh, that'd be so good. Um, so, oh yeah, so that reminds me. Another thing of, like, me wanting to make stuff to, um, like, essentially have on hand. One of the things I really want to make is, like, pizza dough and then just, like, essentially make my own frozen pizzas. So, Michael's already given me his Christmas present to me. Because essentially, the issue is we share an Amazon account, so, um... I was going to see it even by accident from notifications. But he got me a stand mixer for the kitchen. Which like a stand mix, basically like a different, a, a not KitchenAid branded KitchenAid. But still like 
really really good and it comes with obviously like a dough hook attachment so I'm, I'm really excited to be able to make my own bread and one of the things I really want to make is like homemade pizzas and flatbreads and such I'm so excited I already used it yesterday to make um I made some pancakes some chocolate chip pancakes although I was really like upset not upset but like annoyed because so first of all usually you use milk in pancakes right but I want to say pancakes I mean like American style pancakes um but you can you can use water because essentially our milk went off before I was ready to make it so I looked up a recipe that just used water I followed the recipe exactly like the measurements and stuff and I start mixing it and this batter is like so runny <laughs> Like, there is too much liquid in comparison to the dry ingredients, so I had to improvise a bit, but they came out fine. You just started watching the challenge for the first time? Welcome. How far along is my perfection percentage? I will... Let me go and put this wine in, then we'll actually go and have a look, because I haven't looked in a while, and we just hit a milestone today, so I want to... I actually want to know. But we are pretty far along. There are a lot of things that are done now. Your favourite pizza dough recipe is one from Alton Brown. Is it like a thin crust or a thicker one? Because like, I usually, I'm quite a like thin crust person. Pepperoni and Mountain Dew. Oh my God, I love pepperoni pizza so much. And like, I, I also recently got into like eating sourdough bread, but the idea of making it terrifies me because obviously the starter is like essentially a fermented product right and that just scares me i'm scared of like the smell of it <laughs> i don't even know what it smells like but i'm scared of the idea of the smell of fermented stuff it's like a regular crush you get from domino's you could always roll it thinner though oh yeah the, the ones i mean wait are you from I guess you're from the US. I don't know if our domino crust is the same as yours. I was just trying to think. Um, I haven't. I didn't have dominoes any of the other times that I went to the US, but our dominoes crust here is pretty good. So maybe... Farther than, farther than you thought. It just it has you kind of rethinking, like, how to do anything. <laughs> I like kombucha. I do like kombucha. It's the, it's the idea of, like having the starters for it like having the cultures because like obviously the end product does not smell like that but you know the um the actual live things how the smell <laughs> you work for dominoes for five years their crust is so good it is so good But yeah, no. Once once you got it, once you got the trash can fully upgraded, um, as obviously May is saying, it does make it a lot easier. It's a bit of a you know nerf compared to normal, but it's sixty percent, isn't it? I think it's sixty percent of the money. So yeah, it's quite a lot less, but it's not like like if I was stuck with a copper one, then I would be a bit more upset, you know. Right, I want to finish that section out there before I put in uh, wine on this side. People started talking about muffins to you and you were like, your type of muffin or mine? Yeah, good point. I mean, here, like, yeah, because over there they call them, like, the breakfast muffins are English muffins, right? Frosting free cupcakes. Ah, okay, maybe I'll leave that keg out. Um, like here, so for those type of sweet muffins, they're still like cup, they're still like frosting free cupcakes, except some of them, they do still put a bit of frosting on, sometimes a filling, and they're a lot bigger than cupcakes. Cupcakes are quite a bit smaller than muffins. 15, 30, 45, 60. Can you imagine being stuck with a copper one the entire time? <sighs> that would be painful. Oh yeah, I made a lot less wine this week because, I mean, uh, let's use the pineapple, screw it. We might as well. I 
There we go. What are we getting this week? 569,000. Sold. Scones are better. I want to like... See, I like scones, but I go through phases of them because I mainly like them with clotted cream, which I don't want to constantly be eating. <laughs> But I do go through phases of like cl clotted cream and jam. The only problem is like by the end of my phase of scones, I haven't finished a jar of jam. And then by the time I want it again, it goes moldy. Took you ages to realize that butterfly cakes were just got cakes with frosting on the inside. <laughs> See, the butterfly cakes here, a lot of them, um, a lot of the times they're, they're called fairy cakes here. because They're like fairy wings. You're highly allergic to scones. You love them. Raisins are the death are death to you. I See, I don't have any with raisins or anything in them. I only will have plain scones with nothing in them. I'm not a fan of like fruit in fruit like like dried fruit in cakes. Personally. Right, I I said I literally said today before the end of the day I need to do something. Does anyone remember what it was? <laughs> You can't call them fairy cakes anymore because it's not a nice word. I mean, I don't even use them. I don't eat them. I kind of forgot they existed until you mentioned. I can't remember what I was going to do. I've given, I've given Leo a gift, haven't I? I've given the gift. I've talked to Leo. I've done the wine. It tastes like syrup. That sounds incredible. Check perfect. Thank you. Check perfection tracker. You are correct. I'll go have a look. That's exactly what I was going to do. Your 10 year old loves them. Ugh, they're so good. I need to get a new cupcake tray. I don't have one anymore. Or like a muffin tin. I'd probably get a proper, like a bigger muffin tin than the cupcake some of the muffin tin slash cupcake trays you get here are terrible like they're only like this shallow and i'm like why <laughs> i want like a good deep one so i've got the choice that's not what i meant to do right perfection tracker we are on 78 percent. we've got 96 percent of forage shipped uh produce and forage shipped golden clock is what we're currently working towards on the money leo is the only person we need to make as a great friend uh, we're missing one artifact for that final star drop. Crafting recipes, we're just missing, I think, the solar panel. And golden walnuts, it would be, I think, potentially one that we have to pick up from the farm. And three from finishing the snake vertebrae, potentially? I don't know, something like that. Your oven's horrible though. Anything deeper than five inches it incinerates it? Oh no. <laughs> See, I haven't baked a huge amount in our oven, but like so far our oven's like pretty reliable. I remember the oven in our old place being like pretty terrible. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to chop down on this wood. The oven in our old place was literally like... If something said it needs to cook for 20 minutes, give it 45. Is, a, is that a brand? If it's a brand that you have, I have not seen it before. <laughs> I will say as well, over the years, I've come to realize for myself as well that in general, I like an electric fan oven and a gas stove. Do not give me an electric stove. If I have to use an electric stove, I have to use an electric stove, but like, they're just so much slower to me. You're still getting used to the place. Ooh, congrats on the move. Stressful time, but um, nice fresh space, right? <sighs> Electric stoves, yeah, they do just suck. It's a brand, yeah, it's horrible. Only one burner works and the oven is unforgivable. Oh no. We rarely use the oven in all honesty. I mean, I'm going to be using it more in time, like with wanting to bake more stuff. But for general, like food making, we tend to go for the air fryer instead. There's so much ginger. I should probably pick that up, right? I probably should pick that up. 
Baking the school cake you get in high school. It's basically just a Victoria sponge cake with white icing and sprinkles. That does sound delicious. Oh, you guys make me hungry. I mean, it's tradition, right? We always end up talking about food at some point. <laughs> you know where your baby goes? I love that. You want awesome air fryer for Christmas? It's so it's so good. I like I could never go back to doing some stuff in the oven. Like things like fries and most like meat related things. Anything that could be fried for the most part or put in an oven. I would prefer to put in an air fryer unless it's like a baked like a baking thing. So pizza we put in the oven mainly because it doesn't fit um <laughs> and i'm trying to think about like if i was obviously baking a cake or whatever i'd put it in the i'd put it in the oven not the air fryer i wonder how far that would work though oh it's so good it's so good Hey, snacks are worth it. You hate the draw ones, but yours didn't have a drip tray, so you got covered in it. Oh no! No, ours has got like a... It's a two-layer thing, so it's got like... I've had ones where like the basket you have to like take out of the drip thing. And I've also had ones where it's just like a lining in the bottom. But we just use tongs to take anything out now, because anytime we tip it, it's got to that point when we tip it, the tray falls out, so... <laughs> Just little things you kind of work out with your own things over time. But we got like a nice big capacity one so that like if we forget to shake something we don't have to worry too much about shaking stuff and you know. You love the messed up Stardew video, can't wait for more. I'm having so much fun with it, I'm having so much fun. I'm really very much enjoying it. Oh it's salmonberry season, not that I need it. Another iron bar, wonderful. Right, Monday, let's give Leo another gift. I suppose I could wait till Friday. Because that's the next day, like, I need to be outside. We are so close to finishing his friendship, though. Oh, Monday, new quest day, never mind. I need to, I, like, need to check boards. So we do need to be outside. You love doing veggies in the air fryer? Yes. Roasting veggies in the air fryer, so good. So good. I'm not doing fishing. I don't know why I checked that board anymore. I think it's just habit at the moment. Right, what we got? Island and green- oh, pineapples. It's pineapples. <laughs> Rip. Next one to check is the island. Does anyone have... So, okay, you've got the square door style one, not the pull-out drawer. Is it... Does the food come out any different to the drawer ones? I know that sounds silly, but... Like, I've seen more and more of those recently versus, like, the pull-out drawer ones, and I'm like, I wonder if it's, like, any better, you know? Right, let's get those, because I need to keep them. Next thing was quests on Ginger Island. Let's go. <clears throat> Stay away from my ancient fruit, please. And you. There we go. You're considering doing a playthrough? Highly recommend it. I cannot recommend it enough. I do need to post, so, um, also what's been quite nice is the person who made the mod has actually commented and said like, oh, if you've got any questions about the mod, feel free to ask them in that comment. I've pinned the comment. Um, I need to at some point go through and find, I've kept a screenshot 
of my settings. What am I doing? I kept a screenshot of my settings somewhere. I need to like put them somewhere. Keys crop! Finally! Kind of regret cutting down all that wood now, but that's fine. We'll just do it at home because we're going to need it. You think it's better? The draw one was really inconsistent with the heat and the door one isn't perfect with heat distribution, but it's far better because you can separate it on trays. That makes sense. That makes sense. Maybe whenever this one dies, we'd have to get uh, give the other one a go. I mean, we've already we've only had this one for like a year or so, so and we only replaced that because our other one broke. So we used to have one that was like a big capacity one. It had it was one of the like manual toggle ones, so it just had like a turn dial for the temperature and the time, which is what I used to like. I used to just find that easiest. Um. But then eventually from a lot of use, the the dial like broke. So uh, we had to replace it and it is essentially the same one, like the same brand, exactly the same thing. Just the only difference is it's got digital like touch buttons. It was an awful shape to keep on the counter. That makes sense. I mean, it, yeah, they are kind of a weird shape. Right, I only need two, because I only need one for jelly and one for wine. I don't care about... I don't, I'm not doing this quest to, like, do the quest. I don't need to. Might as well chuck it down with some speed grow. How long does it say? Four days. Do I have any... I need one more... Preferably hyperspeed. How do I make that again? I've got the recipe, I'm sure. Radioactive ore, bone fragments, and solar essence. I should have all of those things. Uh, I think it's something like that, right? Nope, I've got the... No, nope, I, I did get it right. If anything, I had too many materials. Why did I not stack it together? That's so unsatisfying. Also, what have I done with all my ginger? Like, where am I keeping this? Because I've just got a pile of ginger on me. There. <clears throat> Randomize all of those. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'd never finish the game. Two days. Um, I don't know. I think I need to look at like also what other mods it's compatible with as well. Because I know it's compatible with some. But I don't know if it's compatible with any of those. What's my music taste? Spotify is definitely a huge time spender for me. I don't really... To be honest, my Spotify use is really solely just for streams. Like, I, I used to listen to music when I was younger, but I didn't really... Like, I kind of just did it because... A, everyone else was doing it, and B... Oh, G Leo is on Ginger Island. Um, I wasn't yet into, like, YouTube-y stuff. So... I don't really, I couldn't really tell you. Nowadays, at least. <laughs> but I really enjoy this video game lo-fi music <laughs> in general. There we go. Right, where are we now? I like looking. We are eight and a half. Huge. Oh, I'm going to go check the parrot as well. If it doesn't say help man in 10, I'm going to be a bit upset. I mean, if it does, if that's all it's at. I need another hint, essentially. I think the last one I haven't got is actually from... Harvesting crops on the on the island farm. But I don't, I don't want to put them down until I've got this damn snake vertebrae. Help man in 10, yeah. Of course. Yeah, I, d I can't believe I went an entire year not being able to find the wizard or Pierre. <laughs> or the saloon. <laughs> Ridgeside Valley and East Garp are both on the working on it list. I just can't, I can't imagine having to deal with those locations being random. I think that is, that is, that would be too much for me. You listen to the Last of Us soundtrack while, while writing. No oh, I love that. I have, um, I haven't played the game. I don't know the soundtrack, but like the idea of 
listening to a video game soundtrack while I was doing stuff. I think for me, it's like I need the... I need visually as well. Like, I do better with, like, momentary visual distractions, not even just for, like, listening, but, like, I need something to, like, look somewhere else on, otherwise I end up daydreaming. Which is, like, not helpful. You want on the f treadmill again? <laughs> Unicorn, no! <laughs> Give your bodies, give your body some time. I know it's hard. I get that. Sometimes I do stuff like I feel like my body doesn't want out of like it's almost a stubbornness of like, no, you will not limit me. I do not agree with this. But that's just me. You can't get comfy, you don't know what to do, burn some energy, and now you're kind of lightheaded. Oh no. I guess it's like it's a process of trying to find a way to like move in a way that's like satisfying to you and makes you feel good you need to have split screen with youtube and your google docs to write productivity <laughs> yeah <laughs> i get that when i'm doing um my scripting i'll have like on my main screen i'll have the, obviously the editing software and then on my second screen i'll have a split between my uh my script and then YouTube or Netflix. Sometimes I watch Netflix stuff. That's wild. You've got the stream on your phone, split, split, split screen, whistling videos, and oh my god, I should compute. What? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Let me start that again. Stream on your phone, split screen, whistling videos, and your novel on your work computer. Oh my gosh. That is uh, that is quite the split. What just happened there? I just like lost all ability to speak. <laughs> like, hello? Pineapple jelly, done. Oh, losing friendship with Krobus. Let's not do that. There we go. Full again. You have Netflix because your four-year-old told them to renew it. Oh, no. Click the app and they said asthma pay. Click the bright repay button. That. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> don't need to go. Do I need to go outside yet? I don't think. Oh, no, it will be ready. It will be ready. Okay, hang on. Uh, collect all the mail, get rid of this immediately. Those there. So I think, yeah, this will be ready. I'm trying to decide for myself if I want to wait for the kegs and stuff to become free. I probably should. I probably should wait. Do I have some fairy dust? Maybe. That I could use on a keg potentially. I might have ended up selling the fairy dust but I'm gonna look for it anyway. Actually. Do I have to look up anything? No I don't. Never mind. I'm not sure if I have fairy dust or the resources to craft. Oh no I do. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah that's understandable. I remember the horror stories years ago of like people um like you know like microtransactions on phones and stuff and like kids playing games on phones and just like buying loads of stuff or like buying loads of apps 20 hours okay I can wait for that right we've got the fairy dust we've got the key fruit how long does it say I've got to do it 12 days okay so I'm not at risk of like sleeping through it Sometimes words are just so hard. Right, jelly's ready. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna not do that by accident. Just removing the risk of me accidentally putting the wrong thing.
Get all this pineapple jelly in. No internet for two weeks. Pain. I felt that pain. Uh, since like having to deal with that, most times I've like tried to see if I can call ahead and like sort it in advance and like get a connection date for like the day or not long after we move. Because I've had I have had that before where I've like moved then sorted it and then they've been like, yeah, we can't do it for like three weeks. Pain. I'm putting everything in the wrong chest. What am I doing? This all goes in here. Uh. Yeah, getting back into a routine after like quite a lot of time off is also hard. I totally get that. Hopefully you've got like the time to be able to ease yourself back into things and not have to do it all at once. Uh, no. Nothing. Rubbish! I don't want to waste an entire farm totem on this, so I'm just leaving it for now. You were reading something and you missed the question. I forgot what happened. <laughs> I feel like, okay, half the time of my memory, I feel like there's a part of it that is just like, someone's asked you and therefore you cannot remember. What was that about Mr. Key? I can't remember. I think I was just checking if I had enough time to put the fruit in, like get the wine done and stuff before the quest expires and I will. So I've got the fairy dust as well to do it just to be 100% sure. I think that might have been what I said. Trying to collect the iridium more as well because it's only going to be like a minute. <laughs> Uh, yes, we'll sleep one more day. So. Let's just do this now. There's the key fruit wine, so we're gonna ship that. And this is gonna be done in 13 hours, so... Right, let's... Ancient fruit wine bin. Make sure I sell the right one. Oh, I'm going to have to go to Ginger Island for my shipping bin. Does anyone remember where the perfection track is at? I'm going to Ginger Island anyway, so I'll go have another look. So we're shoving that in there. Key fruit wine's done. It was like a pretty high percentage. It's going to go up again tomorrow because I'm just about to ship two more things. Um... But obviously it's not, not going to change like a huge amount. Oh, I need to go check the dig site every now and again as well because uh, I really need artifact troves. And obviously you can dig them up there sometimes. Here we go. 96% forage and produce ship. So total is 78%. And then here are all the little milestones. I'll leave it up for a second. And then you need to go back and pause it for a sec. It's there. But this is where we are. Making good progress. Basically loads of things like almost finish. Oh, I haven't been to the merchant yet today either. I don't really want to miss that. I shouldn't miss it. I should be all right. Please, I need an artifact spot. All right, never mind. Not get one of those today, I guess. Let's just get our fruit before we leave. And dig site. I need to remember by the time I'm gonna forget about the dig site by the time I reach the other end of this crop field. I know it. Like it is it is technically like closer than 78%. It's just like the way that it calculates it. Because some things are worth a lot more, aren't they? Like the golden clock alone is like a big chunk. And I'm 
you know also the star drops one because it's like a yes and no i need that damn chip down for it <laughs> oh yeah that's right i forgot about like when you harvest crops it like slows time down a bit because it pauses for the second that you're picking something up I'm really glad that that became a like I don't know if I don't know if it's always been a thing but I'm really glad it is a thing because I feel like you could easily be stuck just harvesting all day when you've got loads of crops to do next week we will also have the some of the farm ancient fruit as well to add to our harvest day so it's going to be a lot golden clock is 10 percent alone that's wild You mostly find it during winter? Oh, man. I'm just really hoping to get it out of an artifact drove before then. For sure, though, I know that 100%... Uh, trying not to essentially jinx it. I'm 97% sure that the last thing that we'll ever have to do on this file is ship a truffle because it's not going to come back from the merchant until year 9. So the, when we're going to the merchant, I'm not looking for the truffle. I know it's not going to be there. I'm looking for the goat's milk or goat's cheese and sunflower seeds or a sunflower. Right, that's this done. Where's Leo? Not on the island, that's okay. So we'll go to the merchant first because I'm going to forget if I don't. Honey. See if we can get it today. Will we find them? I don't know. I won't look up these items until like if it if we get that if we end up getting to the point where we need to get the truffle and we still haven't got it then i'll look it up but i'm not gonna do it before then because there's so much other stuff we have to do i should have some mangoes at home for leo Maybe it will take me nearly all day, like, once all the ancient fruit's in, like, these harvest days are going to be so much longer. I'm probably going to end up selling most of my strawberries straight up from now on as well, because I've got the pineapples to supplement the wine at this point. I mean, the jelly. And eventually, like, once I start getting the farm ancient fruit, I'm not going to need the pineapples even, so we'll just get rid of them. I don't know why I left the cherries. I have no idea why, but I have. <laughs> I'm sticking with the decision. Right, where are you, Leo? Oh, now you're in the... Oh, my... Make your mind up. I, I might not go to him today. Uh, maybe I should. I've got time to kill. Commit. We need them friendship points. Oh yeah, the dig site. See, I forgot before I left to go to the dig site. We're going to go to the dig site this time. That's for you. Also talk. I don't know why I don't use the shortcuts either. I kind of forget they exist. I just realised the parrots can take me there, right? This ginger is in an H. Now it's in a... I don't know what I would even call that. Well, that's not what I wanted. Let's clear some of this out to give space for more dig spots. It's 
so much stuff. I'm probably just going to sell most of this. Have a good rest of stream. Work beckoned you. Rather stay but money. I hope you have a good work day. Or as you know, as good as it, as good as it can be for a work day. But thank you for thank you for being here. Not too worried about the tree. All right. Yeah, I'll just delete all this stuff. Uh, even the key beans, I don't really have a need for. Six hours on the key fruit jelly. Yeah, I think by the time I've done the wine, I should be good. Oh no, I feel really weird. I don't usually start up here to do the wine. Does anyone else ever get that? Like, when you do things like refilling these machines and stuff, do you have a specific order that you do it in? It's just like when I go foraging in Cindersat Forest. I do a loop around there and I do a loop. What way do I do it? I do it anti clockwise, I think, usually. And when I don't do it that way, I feel all backwards. I can't remember which way around I do it. I do it one of the ways. I'm now doubting myself as to which direction I go. It doesn't matter. Essentially, like, yeah, when I when I don't follow it, I feel weird. It's just like this. I feel like I'm doing all the wine backwards. So I usually start down here. Patterns that are optimized for movement, but also you have some OCD stuff where you have to do it the right way, even if there isn't one. It's like, yeah, your personal right way. You do it different too often when refilling machines that you don't have a pattern. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, there would be a lot of people who don't, but whenever I do it, I'm just like, out of habit, I end up just going that way. Draco, hello! Feel strange catching a stream. Welcome. Glad you can make it. Get the rest of my ancient fruit in my hot bar. There we go. All ready to go. I'm excited about this wine that's almost finished aging. How long have we got on that? 28 days. One more season and we'll have some iridium quality aged wine. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot about the farm cave. Cave first, then bus tunnel. Because if I don't do the cave first, I'm going to forget about it. Is my logic behind that. How many days did you get the glacier fish? Um, I mean, I couldn't tell you how many days because it just depends on fishing in the right spot and then luck of it biting. You can increase your chances if you've got a curiosity lure, but I would use a... wait. Yeah, the trap bobber and bait and iridium rod. Um, Also fishing food I would use as well. Um, if that helps, if because I struggle with fishing, but if I can have some fishing buffs on, that also helps me just to like catch it a bit easier. But I couldn't give you a day estimate. I don't know. Like most of the time, I'll catch the glacier. Like yeah, most of the time I will catch the glacier fish on the same day that I go out to do it, unless I like royally mess up. <laughs> Two legendary fish left. You've got this. Trample cork. I used the cork bobber as well. I just, um, I can't tell what's better. I don't know.
Look at all of that wine. Uh, moving on to pineapples. Trout soup or seafood pudding helps a lot. See, once it comes to the legendaries, I try to like, unless I have nothing else, I don't like using trout soup simply because it's only like, it's only plus one. I feel like I, like, for me, who sucks at fishing, a minimum of anything that has plus three. It seems too unreliable for you, you usually use cork. That's understandable. You just saw someone complete the wrong bag of pellets. Oh no. Is it like okay to correct or? Right, those are going away. Those are going away. Yeah. Getting some good money. Jelly will be ready in 30 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. I don't have enough to refill the jars, but that's okay. I'm going to get rid of these blueberries because they suck. If I'm being honest, they completely suck. They just don't do what I need them to. Oh, what is it called again? That the the fishing food there. I know what it is. It's the one you can get from either Cook or you can get it from uh, Peekers, right? Fish a la Ridge. You work at a five place store and we sell grilling pellets. Also, the customer got a bigger bag, so they were happy. I mean, you made it right, you know. Why was that one? Oh. Right, let's go ship this. Oh, I have to go to Ginger Island. Go ship the key fruit jelly. Wow. Oh, 72 gold. That's so much more than the, the wine was worth like four. That's so funny. Why is this worth so much more? Dish of the Sea. I love using Dish of the Sea. There we go. Two more things down for the shipping. I don't know why I'm going in this direction. I need to go the other way. So now I can remove this from the list because we've done it. Times two plus 25. But isn't the value of the key fruit like four gold or something favorite stardew valley content creator thank you so much bye i hope you have a good rest of your day i hope you catch that fish and i appreciate you stopping by artisan perk of course of course that hurt my brain. The numbers hurt my brain. I'm just, I just like looking at them. That's why the jelly was worth higher than the wine. So does the artisan pack not apply to the wine? Yay, 76 gold. Yeah, look. Key fruit wine, four gold. But hey, we've got two more things off the shipping list. That's huge. It does, but wine has a base of... Oh, because of the... But a base of three... three is it three times? Oh, it, the reaction thing's in the way. I might end up removing reactions on here because it they, they kind of block some of the tech. 40% more of three is one. Yeah. Fair. That does make sense now. Partner knocked off the stair gate and had to put it back on. It doesn't want to go off properly. Oh no. Right. Um. Here's the thing. If I get island ingredients today and it's the correct one, there is no way that I'm going to be able to gather 100 ginger this week, right? There is no way. I'm going to have to spend the entire week just trying to get them from monsters in the volcano, right? That is the only way I have any hope if it comes up today. This is the time I'm actually hoping it doesn't.
Okay. I'm kind of relieved that it's not there. <laughs> not gonna lie. Potentially possible if you hunt tiger slimes in the pocket. Yeah. That's the only... Whoops. I just, um... And I probably shouldn't do this, but I kind of, like, can't help myself. My my PC is down next to me. I still need to wipe it. I still haven't done that yet, because that the, the idea of it is stressing me out. But sometimes I end up putting my leg on it, and I just, like, essentially knocked the entire, like, magnetic dust cover off. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, at least there's that. Right, do I need to do anything else today? I don't need to check key quests anymore because I've done what I need to. Let's just have a little admire of our shipping tab. There we go, we've got a complete page. <laughs> it's just, just these three things which we don't want to talk about. Yeah, I don't really I don't think I need anything else from key quests anymore, so. I'm gonna wait until oh, let's give Cribbers a gift. I don't want to risk that being the one thing that stands between us and perfection. Um, I'll wait until Friday to speak to Leo. I don't think I need to, really. I'm not even going to go to the flower dance, because there's not even a need for that. Not another chain moment? No, no. I'm good. I'm good. Right, Jelly's ready. Oh no, we actually do need the strawberries right now. Well, that's fine. I probably got enough mangoes to have done mango jelly, but... Wait, what's worth more? Oh, the strawberries are actually worth more than the mangoes. Never mind. Never mind. Burglar ring and lucky ring? Yeah, they do help, don't they? I have... Wait. Oh, I don't have the lucky ring at all on this file. I just realized. Eh. I got through without it. It's It wasn't meant to be, apparently, on this particular save. Not me only just realizing now. I missed the flower dance and I don't even care. Right, let's go back to bed. Back in bed, all things considered, I think you did... You definitely did really well. Well-deserved rest at this point. Right, we've got Merchant and Leo today. I feel so slow. You marry Chain in your first playthrough? Maybe his loved items would change. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been so cool though. Museum Station Danny, hello. Welcome. First time to catch a stream. Thank you so much for being here. Love the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming to say hi. And hang out. There's Amaranth. I don't need that. More trout soup. I don't need that either. No. Okay. Never mind. How cool would that have been though if they did change? Right, Leo's up at the top. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone with the one to face. Look at all the ancient fruit. I'm excited. I'm waiting till Sunday. And then I, ha I, I shall harvest it. Speed grow is a bit of a waste now, really. Because I only harvest it on Sundays. I was hoping it would have been done the Sunday before, but it wasn't. Please don't have left yet, thank goodness. Make sure we get on the right side so that we don't accidentally give it to Linus. There you go. Hard time getting used to it, so dry. Oh, I've missed what the food was that he was talking about. Where are we now? Ooh, <gasps> we're over nine hearts. We're getting there. Oh, 
Why doesn't he love eggs? Maybe it's just because like they're just part of he sees them all the time. It would have been cool if he liked the chicken statue. That would have been a really cute like thing. Tempted to just sell half my batteries. There's not really a need to. At the moment, every time I go to sleep, I keep on feeling like I've forgotten to do something. <sighs> like, I know I've not been getting this every day. I'm ignoring that sandy reminder because I don't need milk anymore. Wine day! And our first giant harvest. He's proud of the eggs of the egg festival. There is that. Not that I've, I haven't actually seen that. As in like, I've not paid attention. I obviously don't disagree that it exists. Sorry for your mistakes, English isn't your first language. No, no worries at all. Just appreciate you being here. Could think of eggs as baby chickens, very true. Pumpkin, cave, carrot, eh, none of the things that I need. Okay. Rubbish. It's ancient fruit time. Lots of ancient fruit time. Are we ready for all of the ancient fruit? I should probably go see Leo first though. That is what I will do. I just want to get the gift out of the way and then I don't have to think about it anymore. Oh no, so we did get one extra harvest because this isn't ready until tomorrow. Keeping an eye on his location as I go through the map because I don't want to like miss my opportunity. Oh, he's down there. And after I've given this gift, I will just have to be right back for just a second. So, um, yeah, I'll literally be like a minute. hit it yet because the star's not there we're half a heart away so one more gift and one more chat and i think we'll be good so now it's harvest time it's harvest time yeah imagine that he starts to like joja cola instead that would have been really cool like, I don't know, coffee. <laughs> Ancient fruit time. Look at all of it. So good. There's some of it, like, this is basically all the stuff that we managed to get the speed grow on. The rest of the farm isn't done yet, but we get so much extra. Now we can start focusing purely on ancient fruit jelly, ancient fruit wine, just ancient fruit everything. And probably even just like, might even be able to get away with selling some excess each week as well. This week I won't do that just because I obviously need to keep some spare for jelly. 
just as a like starter amount but after this i should be able to sell some every now and again just as is for a little bit of a instant boost the muddy floor yeah the muddy footprints i'm, I'm not a fan of but also, how does he only have muddy footprints in his room? How is it like clean and then he gets to his room and suddenly it's really dirty? Magician. <laughs> just magic. Trash bags. Does he just like walk around in trash bags and take them off when he gets to his room? I mean, maybe he's like, yeah, well, you know, I get it with all the rest of the bits, but this is my space. Reverse floor mat. <laughs> Imagine. To the greenhouse. That's probably the last mangoes we'll need to harvest. I could probably, once I've done with them, now that I am done with them, I could probably chop down those trees and like, if I run out of room for kegs, like if I finish off that bus tunnel, I could probably line the edges of this greenhouse with kegs. I've done that before too. All the extra keg space. I probably could make more today, hang on. Let's go have a look. Because I do have some materials. Um, I could probably make... I don't want to use every last bar up. Yeah, another nine kegs. Still nine. Uh, we're going to get rid of the strawberries immediately. I mean, fuel? At least he respects that the rest of the house is yours and doesn't leave a mess. Very true. No, look at all the weeds. How rude. Oh no, I'm going to have to replace these now. Oh my God. Oh my God. That, that was an explosion of weeds. I am kind of offended. Oh my God. Oh my God. Our oh, ancient fruit is being destroyed. No, no. Okay, I'm going to have to make more seeds. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some backup seeds in case of this situation. Wait, my entire sprinkler. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, do I have a spare one here? I think I've got one at home. Oh my God. It literally deleted a whole sprinkler. Usually I'd have paths to prevent this kind of thing, but I really need the snake vertebrae. So I need as many tiles uncovered as possible. An upgrade from Robin for ceiling sprinklers, that would be cool. Well, the thing is, I can't, like, every week when we come here to harvest the ancient fruit, that's when we get rid of it. Like, I get rid of it every time I'm here. So I've left it for, like, a week. Like, Monday was the last time I think I was here. And there was not... <laughs> they just exploded. I'm glad I got rid of it before tomorrow because obviously a new season makes it so much worse. Well, I've got to repair this now. <sighs> that was pretty horrendous. <laughs> I'm not going to renew my triple shot, I don't think. I can't believe it got rid of the sprinkler as well. That's so sad. Pineapples now I can probably just sell if I want to. 
But yeah, I think I'll make an emergency backup of like... Actually, I probably have some spare seeds at home. I don't think I had to make any more, so I must have some spare. I mean, if you had a... Uh, if you had a greenhouse full of all ancient fruit, you could get some extra plants out of it, so that could make sense. What does it cost to make? I forgot. Stone, fibre and clay. That's actually not too expensive. But I feel like by that point I've already got the sprinklers down and I don't want to like... I'm too lazy. Alright, we've got all of that. So let me retill these spaces. And then... I'm going to leave those because I, uh, I could replace it with more ancient fruit. I'm not going to replace it with pineapple because I don't really need to. Pineapple I'm just going to sell straight up from now on. Right, let's see. Do we have any artifact spots at all today? I feel like I should still get rid of these. I'm worried that I'm not going to get the wine done in time, you know. Maybe I leave these alone. I'll come back and do the artifact spots another time. But I do want to make sure I get the uh, seeds planted today. So I need... Oh, did I not have spare? Wait. Oh no, it's this one. Oh, I need a sprinkler as well. Don't forget the sprinkler. <laughs> that would have been bad. Uh, I know I have one. Yeah. Already in two quality. I think that's exactly what I've got going on. Oh. I wasn't going to see Leo today, but he's here. Wait, have I already done that today? Oh, I have. Ignore me. <laughs> it's because I'm doing things in the wrong order. This is what happens. Right, those are there. Those are there. And then these two. Latest playthrough, you haven't even got the community center finished. Damn pomegranate. Yeah, I have, I've definitely had that be my last item before. It's painful, isn't it? Half the time I kind of forget about it. Or I just don't get lucky enough with the fruit cave. You don't have the bats to help you. Oh no. Waiting for the um... Oh no, don't do this. Don't do it in the wrong order again. I don't like it. <laughs> wrong in air quotes, but you know what I mean. Um. When, yeah, whenever I do the community center, I for the most part prefer to have the bats versus the mushrooms because of, just because of the fruit. Like sometimes dealing with tree sapling, like fruit saplings to me can be like kind of painful so I just don't want to yeah I'm, I'm not gonna ba the I did have paths down but I ripped them all up because I'm still waiting for those stupid artifact spots to come up <laughs> you thought why not and then regrets were made oh no because also the other point is like when you do eventually get to ginger island the professor snails cave is usually with mushrooms so like I'm like well I'm gonna have mushrooms later and then any of them that I need in between, I'm usually going to find in time. You can fish. I don't think you can, can you? I'm pretty sure you can only dig them. Yes, can only be... The snake can be obtained by digging artifact spots in Ginger Island West. The fossilized spine, I think you can fish up, but not this one. At least just checking the wiki, that's what it said anyway.
there is a way to like um semi cheese it as well so i think i watched a video from wickedy that basically explained that what comes up in the artifact spots de is determined by how many times you've tilled that day yeah i think you might be thinking of the skull i've got the skull it's literally just the one spine um, but basically, like, what you could do is, like, if you have an artifact spot that day, you could go and till it. If it's not there, you reset the day, you till one other spot anywhere else, and then you try. And, that you, and then if it's not that, you basically, like, then you till two, and then you till three with resets in between until you get it. Because essentially, it would pretty much guarantee that you're going to get it. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I mean, you got to think, like, surely, surely between now and year nine, it's going to be there, right? Because year nine is when we're going to see the, uh, the truffle. Oh, I shouldn't be putting the gold ones in there because the gold ones I was going to just sell straight. What year are we on? We're in year seven. Like, I'd hope, I'd hope in the space of two years that I would get it. You ended up using the high counter comma mushrooms for energy. I've heard that as a good strat as well. I think it's just like the idea for me is because like, I mean, I'm starting to like mushrooms a bit more now in real life. But because I don't like mushrooms, I'm like, oh, why would I want that? <laughs> why would I want a constant supply of mushrooms? I don't want mushrooms. You got another one immediately? Oh, that's so painful. Right. This jelly is going away and now another 500k. So we're in the 6 million mark. We made a good couple of million today. I'm also going to sell this as is and half of this. Hey, legend, 10 million. So we spent, obviously we spent the rest of it on obelisks, essentially. Oh, I've still got some of the wine. Still got my pineapple wine. And there we go. That's another another well timed like we keep on ending up doing like a season ish per per stream. Uh, but we're all, we're almost at literally just about to hit three hours now. It's kind of the perfect timing. Um, so we'll do summer next week. You somehow avoided the knowledge of the theatre for years, so you <laughs> just got in hours of last week. Oh no. I can't do that because it involves spending money. <laughs> You've had the dig spot next to the river and the spine fall in! <gasps> I would cry. Especially if you've been like waiting for it for ages as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed yourself today, please do hit like. It does help us out a lot. It's a good little free way to support the channel. I feel like most of you have seen it by now, but if you haven't already, do check out the 100 Days of Messed Up Stardew. It was so much fun and I think you're going to love it. And next time you'll see me, it's, at some point, this you, you should have two One Life episodes out this week. Um, still working on them, but you'll you'll know when they're out. Um, with Blueberries and Cranberries getting them a day early each. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.